Welcome to the series here on the wonderful country of Georgia. So this is The Wines of Georgia, a multi-part free series. So we're here on part 12, looking at the real geography of Georgia, going into the PDOs, Protected Designation of Origins. So we're going into the wine areas. First of all, here, looking at Cajeti, which is the very important eastern side of Georgia. If you have a question, if you have a comment, get in touch. Great to hear from you. Maybe you've been to this wonderful, historical, fabulous country. Maybe you've been to Tbilisi. Maybe you've been to Cajeti. Maybe you've been to some of these PDOs. You like amber wines. You like Saparavi, whatever. Get in touch. It'll be good to hear from you. Let's get cracking about the PDOs. First of all, a bit of an overview of the PDOs. So there's somewhat like 55,000 hectares of vineyards in Georgia. Fairly significant if you think about it. And then we have somewhere just over 25 PDOs of which 19 of them are in Cajeti, but this number is changing quite frequently. Now the PDO has regulations. So each of these areas will have regulations around what grape varieties can be used, the yields, uh, as well as other things. So kind of more basic things like transport, um, spacing between roads, vine densities, pruning and training methods. So if one wants to label with a specific PDO, of course, this regulation must be adhered to. So here is a map of the Georgian wine regions, just to give you some idea. Now, where we are looking on our video today is Kacheti, which is towards the Azerbaijani side of Georgia. And if you go to the other side, it's, of course, the Black Sea. We will go through all of these areas, but we are looking firmly at this orange area, which is Kacheti. So I've left it uh, highlighted in orange, which is a fitting color for, <laughs> for this map, so you get an understanding of its location. So. Why start with Cajeti and why is Cajeti split into two areas, two parts? This is part one of two. Well, it is the largest. It's the largest wine growing area in Georgia. Uh, approximately 75% of Georgia's vineyards, something like 40,000 hectares. Now, the Cajeti PDO covers the entirety of the region, but it has a number of sub PDOs. So we call these uh, the sub-regional PDOs. Um, now, wine designated to be Cajeti PDO can be grown anywhere from 200 to 700 meters, but most of those vineyards will lie somewhere around 400 to 600. Now, the wines within the Cajeti PDO can be white, red, pink, amber, dry, semi-sweet, uh, and also sweet and made in Kvevri or European style. So really the full gambit from this large PDO. Now famous here is the Kakheti PDO Amber wine, which is likely to be a blend of Ricazzatelli and Mutsfani, the two major varieties that are utilized for it. But there are other permitted grape varieties as well. Do look out also for uh, a wine called Pirasmani. You'll see it at the bottom of your screen. This can be also made anywhere in Kacheti. It was a Soviet designation and it's a semi-sweet style. It's not a PDO. It is a wine style. Um, it's historically made from Saparavi, but also can be white. And it's typically with no Kvevri, no oak influence. It's a juicy, sweet style red typically. So let's talk about our parts of the Cajeti area. So first of all, there is um, actually in the whole of Cajeti, there is a, a number of rivers, but kind of two major rivers. And we're going to focus on one of those. Um, actually, we're going to do both of them in this section. So it's the Iori and the Alazani River, as you can see here. So most of our PDOs here in Cajeti will sit on the Alazani River. So in the river valley, 
which runs roughly northwest to southeast, starting its life off in the, um, the, the Caucasus up here in the mountains, and then meandering its way down here as we see heading down towards the likes of Azerbaijan, for example. Now, soils are dominated by alluvial clays, loams, and calcareous limestone-based substones, but some other parts of it can be schistous and slaty as well. Now, vineyards don't tend to go all the way down to the river because the water table is too high, and it doesn't go all the way up into the mountains up here because you will find that it's, of course, too cold and grapes won't ripen. Now, the altitude generally gets higher as we head north towards the river's source. Uh, so that's towards the greater uh, Caucasus, of course, up, up in this area. Uh, so the highlighted area, by the way, in blue on that map, is the real river basin of the Alazani. So you've seen lots of small tributaries that are running into it, but it's not, not the whole of the Kacheti area, but it is a part of it, just to give you an idea of this location. So what about the climate of Kacheti? So we would call it transitional, meaning that really stretching from one part to another part, it changes. We typically have kind of like a dry subtropical climate towards the southern sections, and then moderately humid as you go towards the northwest and the mountainous areas. Because of the humidity in certainly areas towards the north, the problems would be around fungal disease, but hail, sto sto uh, hail storms in our subtropical areas. After phylloxera, the vines selected for replant replanting were overwhelmingly Rakatsateli, Saparabi, and Mutsvani, although now there are over 50 varieties grown in the area of uh, Kakheti. So four main zones. I'm going to be talking about the top two in this presentation and the bottom two in the next presentation. Um, those four macro zones, so we have the Iori River Basin, which is actually off from this map towards Manavi. Uh, we have the left and the right banks of the Alazani, the left bank being this area, so right of our river on our map, but we're following the course of the river, so therefore less, left is actually this side, and the right area, and then finally the Kiziki area as well. Um, some of the PDO boundaries are based on ancient noble families like uh, Zinandali or on villages like Naporelli as well. So we're going to talk about those areas. So first of all, you can see the shift now. You know we highlighted this area, which is the Alazani River. We're now going more towards the west where we pick up the Iori River, as you can see just here. So the Iori River Basin is a distinct area of Kakheti. It's sometimes called the Outer Kakheti, as we see here, as it's heading towards the Blizzi. It's on the south and southwest slopes of Zivgombori range of mountains, and it's mostly between about 480 to 750 meters of elevation with quite diverse soils. Um, a couple of wines to talk about uh, here. First of all, Kashmi. Kashmi is a small new PDA for Saparavi only on clay-based alluvial soils. Uh, so here <clears throat> it's moderately humid, um, but its proximity to those mountain ranges, the Sivgomburi range, means that we get cool breezes. Um, not really much hail here, but frost can be an issue. And snow melt here from those mountains prevents drought. Uh, we have lots of different viticultural schemes in play here. Uh, the best Kashmi Saparavis are deep violet with very bright aromatics, wild berries, black pepper, cassis, mint, eucalyptus with a marked acidity. They're often very good with food. And we're going to look at another one. So remember, I mentioned there are two PDOs really with the Iori River Basin. Manavi PDO is a small but historic PDO. 
Fame for Mitzvani. You'll see that it's written just there. Many small parcellated landscape here. It's moderately humid. Hail is occasionally a threat, a threat, and it's at about four to 800 meters elevation. The Kavevri Manavi Mutsvani, so therefore Manavi Mutsvani, made in Kavevri, are the most famous wines. They are delicately citric, lime and green apple with a savory element to them. The PDO though generally must be a minimum 85% Mutsvani and 15% Ricazzatelli, up to. So that's the Iori River Basin. We're now going back to the Alazani River Basin, which is the main part of it. So the Alazani Valley is very varied in terms of soil and climatic conditions. Now, both sides of the Alazani Valley, you'll see from the map there, are intersected by what's called Khevi, or gorges, uh, which of course will bring rivers. And it divides the townships here as well. Many are dried riverbeds that channel snow melt into the valley. Most are tributaries of the Alazani. In general, the soils of the left bank, which we're about to discuss, uh, are in fact those that are wetter, less limestone and more alluvials and clay. The slopes are gentler. Uh, but there are better hillside sites available as well. So let's talk about this left bank area. So we have um, lots of tributaries, as you'll see highlighted in blue there on your map. I've just highlighted the left bank area. It's more humid and it needs less irrigation than the right bank. Many sites also have very good water retentive clays although these are not found actually on the top sided areas. Most wine grown villages are about 450 to 550 meters and the greater uh, uh, Caucasus are not far, only about 15, 20 kilometers away from our northern part here. We'll get breezes from the mountains. Vineyards face south, southeast and southwest, depending on where they are along the ridges. And we historically would call the left bank area inferior to the right bank and that white grapes grown there were more muted and suited for only European style winemaking. But with today's movement of uh, much more knowledgeable and careful viticulture and, and winemaking, this, of course, historical view is very much changing. The PDOs then, let's talk about some key PDOs here. Naparelli PDO is the most northwest. I've highlighted it just here. Okay, the Alazani River, you see, is what's running through here. So this is one of the most northwesternly points, about 300 to 500 meters, <coughs> south, southwest, and southeast facing again. And it's more hu humid than the opposite bank of the right. Look out for Rakatsatelli, Saparavi, and Kisi here. Grape quality increases with altitude and distance from the river. And the PDO, white, is identical to Zinandali, which is a Rikatsatelli Mutsvani blend. The Saparavi is brighter in acidity and fresher fruit. And there are microzones to be really focused on around here. You might have heard of Gremi Eneseli Shilda, Artani Sanior. Alvani, and the one that I most well know here is Barbanuri, which make fabulous expressions of wines here. So there are microzones within this PDO. Then we've got the Kvarelli PDO. So this is famed for Saparavi. The wines have classically been called the best of Kachketi. High elevation at 350 to 400 meters uh, and some of the best terroirs here facing mostly south. It's closer to the warmer area near Azerbaijan. Here you see I've highlighted it down the left bank, so down the river. And it's moderated by surrounding mountains, of course. It's about one to two degrees warmer than Naparoli that we talked about on the previous slide 
but it's more humid with a bit more rainfall in this area. And our last one we're going to look at uh, here for major styles is the Kins Maruli PDO. Uh, now, this is a PDO I have mentioned previously. It must be semi-sweet, typically a, somewhere between 30 to 50 grams per litre of sugar. 100% black grape variety, Sapravi, and typically 10.5 to 12% alcohol. They're powerfully fruity, very popular in markets like Russia, uh, and it's on slaty soils, warmer, three to five degrees warmer than neighboring areas, which ripens and boosts the levels of sugar, meaning that, of course, you can still get to that kind of 11, 12% alcohol with a lot of sugar left behind, making it a semi-sweet expression, of course. And then a new PDO. So the Kizzy Magrani PDO created uh, in May of 2021. Now, these must be Cavevri wines made from the beautifully aromatic Kizzy grape variety. This is at 400 to 800 meters altitude and around the village of Magrani, which you'll see I've highlighted up here, north of Napoli, for example. Four to 800 meters, moderately continental and humid, vineyards facing south with great amounts of sunlight, often around over 2,000 hours per year. Temperatures in July can easily reach 40 degrees Celsius, generally can easily fall to minus 15 degrees Celsius. Rainfall is average at about 750 millimeters per year. And it's kind of nestled towards a northern section towards the greater Caucasus. So that prevents cold air. And there are micro zones around the actual village of Magrani as well. Now, the cool breezes from the forests on the slopes reduce the heat in summer. And it's a, a, a real black earthy soil, which is alluvial on the slopes on the banks of the river Machoreli, which is best soils for Kizzi. And there are some brown soils and clay as well in this area. OK, so that's me completing the first part, looking at the Iori River Basin and the left bank of the Alazani. Please do join me for part two, where we look at Cajeti's other part, the right bank, and then also, also the final part in Kazimiki as well. So that is me complete. If you have any questions and any comments, please do get in touch by emailing. Uh, you can do that by emailing info at winewithjimmy.com. You can comment on this video below, or you can get in touch via social media that you see at the bottom of every slide. Until next time, see you soon. Ciao for now.